Hi, my name is Sabine Taylor and I'm a trainer based in New York City. I have over 10 years of training experience working for major technology corporations. I am passionate about training because it provides me the opportunity to connect with my participants to teach them soft skills such as sales and customer service. I also enjoy training my participants on how to become productive in the workplace. What I'm going to do today is show you how to create and manipulate a pie chart within an Excel document in this module. The pie chart is a circle where each of the different colored wedges represent values that contribute to a whole. The pie chart is the most common chart seen in business documents today. When you return back to the office, your manager may ask you to put together a pie chart using Excel, and once you leave this classroom, you will know how. To make this lesson more interesting, I've decided to play off the Lynn Sanity phenomenon and compare the jersey sales of four players from the New York Knicks basketball team. The data has already been set up, for us, so all we have to do is to create a pie chart and we're going to do it now. What we need to do is to make sure that one of the cells is highlighted within our data list. Next, we're going to click on the Charts tab and then select the Pie tab. Once the pop-up dialog appears, we notice that there are two categories of pie charts, a 2D and 3D model. We're going to take a look at them both, but first we're going to start off with the 2D pie chart. Once Excel places a chart on the worksheet, we can make it bigger. To do this, we're going to bring our mouse and hover the pointer right above the edge of the box and we're going to drag to the desired area. Now that it's bigger, we see that there is a title, which is coming from the header in B1. There are four colors, yellow, red, blue, and green, and each of the colors are assigned to a player. Now, let's say I wanted to highlight one of the wedges. All I would have to do is click on the pie. However, I notice that all of the wedges are highlighted with the handle. But since I only want to highlight Jeremy Lin's wedge, I'm going to click again on top of his wedge so that way all the other handles are released. With my mouse, I'm going to click once and move towards the right. Now it's highlighted. We, however, are not limited to this style. We can select other templates. And to do that, all we need to do is click on the box, hit the delete key on our keyboard, and start again. We want to make sure that one of the cells are highlighted. We want to click tab if it isn't, come down to tab to the pie tab and select the 3D pie. As we did before, we're going to make this chart bigger. Now, if I wanted to add percentages on top of each of the wedges, I could do that and all that needs to be done is to come up to the chart quick layouts and select a template that I like. I like layout number six. And so, as we all can see, the percentages are on top of each of the wedges. And Jeremy Lin has sold 36% of all of the jerseys. So he's doing pretty good. Now, there are other styles that I can choose for my pie chart. If we come over to chart styles, we click on the expand button. we'll see the layouts. I see one that I like, I'll click it. It's highlighted in green. Now, the black background helps the other colors pop out. Now, just because we selected a template 
does it mean that we cannot change anything else? We can actually change the color and that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to click on the pie. I want to change Jeremy Lin's color from yellow to purple. I'll click it again so that all the other handles are released. I'm going to come over to the format tab and click it once. Then I'm going to click the fill tab and select purple. Now the color has changed. As we did with the 2D model, I can highlight Jeremy Lin's wedge. Since the handles are only on his wedge, I'm just going to click my mouse once and drag his wedge over to the right. Now, let's say that you did not know all the areas of the pie chart that can be formatted. Well, there is help. If we come over to the far left and we click this tab right here, which we'll see all the different elements that can be changed. So what I want to do is just format the legend. Then I'm going to come down to the format selection and I'll notice that I can place the legend on the top, bottom, left, right, or top right of the pie chart. I want it at the bottom. I'll click OK and the changes have been made. Now, let's say that I really like this template and I want to use it with other documents that I create on Excel. That can be done by going to the Charts tab, selecting Other, Save as Template, and Save it as. And it's done. I hit save. Now if I want to check that my changes were saved, I'm just going to go back to other. I'm going to scroll down and I see the access technical template has been saved. In this lesson, we learned how to create 2D and 3D pie charts and we learned how to format the different elements within the pie chart.